Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Raptor X here with Good Clean Gaming RX, and I just wanted to quickly go over some Aim Lab settings. Um, I've had a lot of people uh, leaving messages on my uh, on a couple of my settings videos for Aim Lab, so I just wanted to go over those quickly. Uh, a lot of people have been having some problems uh, with Fortnite settings. Um, so I just want to go over those. There are a lot of options here, but I'm just going to go down here. A lot of options. Okay, go down and click, click on Fortnite. Okay, so uh, in-game units, in-game old or client settings. So there's been an update uh, which allows you to import your client settings.save from your Fortnite um, file. So you can do that as one way of getting your uh, your files or your your settings into Aim Lab. Now the other option is to use the in-game settings, um, and to do that you'll just set it to in-game, and then you can click and drag here and change your x-axis sensitivity or your y-axis sensitivity. They are independent of each other. So those are your hip fire settings, then you've got your aim down sights settings, um, and then you've got your input settings. Uh, you're allowed to use either raw input or Windows input, which is after it's gone through any of different uh, Windows settings. Okay, now uh, x-axis ratio. This is the ratio between the inputs x and y axes. Now, this I think is probably where people have been having issues. Um, if you use, if you have this set to force one to one, it is going to go ahead and change these sliders proportionally. So if you've got that set, see where it says X, Y axis ratio, force one to one. If you then try and drag these, it is going to lock those sliders together. So you want to go ahead and make sure this is used to use game settings and that will allow you to change these independently of each other. So I'm going to set these back to the defaults. There we go. Um, and we're going to go oh, scroll down to Fortnite. They've added a lot. Okay, so those are the basic settings then for Fortnite. Um, for those of you who are attempting to use uh, a controller, um, here are your input settings for, um, for your controllers. Um, and then the different sensitivity options. Um, you're allowed to hit advance, which will allow you to make all different kinds of edits um, for different sensitivities. Um, you can change your counts per inch or your dots per inch setting for your mouse. Um, you can change your controller curve from linear to exponential or back again. Um, there are a lot of different customization settings in here um, that you can really get in and toggle things around. Now I'm going to go ahead and try this here. This is your client settings.save and I believe that's going to go ahead and use the, the, um, the save file out of your, your Fortnite game's save location. Now I'm not sure if that's going to go ahead and take that and if it can find it automatically or not. Um, so I will have to save I will have to do some investigation on that for right now you can just use your in-game settings and manually adjust those um, so the key points I guess for those of you who are having problems um, with um, the X and Y locking to each other make sure that your X or Y axis ratio here is set to use game settings or use custom gain make sure it's not set to force 1.1 because that will lock those sliders to each other. Um, now the other thing that I've uh, noticed people having issue with is that these are used x-axis sensitivity percentage 
where if you drag these they will change um, your 360 distance. Um, this is basically a slider. Um, okay. Is zoomed differently. Okay, so if you use this, you can basically set that so that you can do this to centimeters. I guess it's centimeters because this is all in metric. Um, centimeters per 360. So it basically locks it so that your sensitivity is irrespective of zoom, whether you're aiming down sights or whether it's um, you know just normal hip fire. Um, so that you can do 360 degrees in the number of centimeters here. So if I want to go 360 degrees in about 5 inches, I'm going to set this to about 10. And that'll, that'll allow me to go 360 degrees um, all the way around by moving my mouse about 5 inches. Um, 2.54 uh, is your conversion from centimeters to inches. It's 2.54 centimeters per inch. Um, so I suppose if I wanted to do this, I could do this to um, 2.54 would be 1 inch, 25.4 would be uh, 10 inches. So if we do this to about uh, 13, uh, that's going to be right around 5 inches there. Um, and that will allow you to do a, a 360 rotation. Um, if you have any more questions, please feel free to drop me a message. Um, you can always reach me on my Discord. Um, I've got a link for that down in the description below. Um, and yeah, if you have any more issues, uh, go ahead and hit me up either on, on my Discord or on uh, my, uh, my YouTube channel. Right, everyone, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Ta-ta.